That was a good puzzle. I'm not going to lie. Wow, you're smart. Okay, come close so I can tell you my secret. I hear that all the people who get kidnapped feel a little sick right before they get taken. I bet the monster that lives up in the tower feeds his victim super gross food before it pounces. Oh. Oh, I'm so glad that we solved that puzzle because now we know that Chemley's life is in danger. Chemley's life is in danger. We can't even say his name. There's no way we're going to be able to solve him. Or er, save him. That one too. Ooh, I bet it's like hamburger ice cream with butterscotch and mayonnaise swirl. Ew. Or maybe he just picks the weakest of the bunch to snatch. I just don't get why he needs all those people. We out. Chelmy's life is in danger. Chelsby, Chelmy's life is in danger. Let's solve this puzzle too, and then we'll go meet up with Zapone. Because we know the cat's going to give us a puzzle. That cat and mouse seem to get along pretty well, don't they? Do you think so, Luke? I would have guessed that the cat was tormenting that poor mouse. I mean, we, it's been three days. We've gone by here three times now. And every single time, that cat is going to work with that mouse. But if you say the two of them are friendly, I believe you. Of course. It has, it has to do with animals. Leave it to me. By the way, Professor, have you heard this one before? It's puzzle time. Voice acting is all point. I'm trying. I don't have a good range of voices because uh, cause my... my Voice is so deep. I don't have a good range of voices, so it's hard, but I'm trying, okay? <laughs> Number 65, what's E? This is worth 50 picarats. 50 picarats. Oh, this gonna be good. This gonna be good. Okay. According to the diagram shown here, A is 2, B is 3, C is 3, 4, oh, I'm sorry, D is 4. So what is E equal? I think I already see what this puzzle is. I think I already I think I already get this one. If you take a look at it, A is touching. A is adjacent to. I should use that term. A piece A is adjacent to two pieces. This one and this one. B is adjacent to three pieces. This one, this one, and this one. We're not counting the ones that are diagonal to. Adjacent means that they share a wall. They share a wall. The wall shared for A is this one here and this one here. So these two pieces share a wall with A. These three, one, two, and three, share a wall with B. C is, uh, where is C? C is three. Ooh, no, that's not right. Is it? Yes, it is, actually. This is not a wall. A vertex is not a wall. So C shares this one, this one, and this one. This wall, this wall, and this wall. And D shares four. Mm -hmm. so D has this wall with this one. D has this wall here with this one. This wall here with this one. And this wall here with this one. So E would be one, two, three, four, and five. It's sharing. It could, to be honest, it could be four or five. It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't clarify. It doesn't clarify whether it's how many walls are shared with other pieces or how many pieces share a wall with it. It could be four or five. Either one of those are logically sense, uh, logically makes sense, but I'm going to go ahead and assume that it wants to know how many pieces it shares walls with, not how many walls are shared with other pieces. Either one makes sense. If, if this were a test, like if I were grading a test, either one would make sense. But I'm going to assume it wants five. I'm going to assume it wants five. Four is just as right as five. That's Ultimately, that's the only thing I hated about math tests. If a child could logically argue their answer and it was wrong in the textbook, you have to give it to them. Because if it's logically argued and it makes sense with everything else, then they then they got it. It could be four. It could be five. I'm going to assume it's talking about pieces. Yeah, it's talking about the pieces. Every puzzle has an answer. That's to date. Uh, so far, out of all the puzzles we've seen, that's the only one that could have two possible answers because it wasn't, it wasn't clear enough. The numbers assigned to each letter refers to the number of sections that are touching the labeled section. That's right. 
but it's not clarified. I'm, I'm gonna look at them all one more time. D, one, two, one. Actually, no. D, D was the one that went ahead and solved that. Okay. D says, uh, D is four. So then it's, it's not talking about four walls. It doesn't have four walls. It really only has one, two, and three that are shared with other pieces. So if D is four, then E has to be five. But if D would have been three, then E would have been four. Okay. Never mind. Scratch what I was saying. Scratch what I was saying. <laughs> Puzzles are getting there. They're trying it. They're trying it. What does that have to do with cats? Why did why did that have to do with cats, uh, Luke? I need you to get it together. I need you to get it together. Gosh, I was sure I'd come up with a really good puzzle, but it was still too easy, I guess. All right, let's go meet with Zapone. We gotta go meet with Zapone. It's Zapone. Close friends of the Baron. It's true, I had the pleasure of meeting Baron Reinhold a few times. Mr. Zapone, you didn't happen to be good friends with the Baron, did you? Me? Ha ha ha. Oh no, I was nothing of the sort. Can you think of anyone at all who was close to Baron Reinhold? No, I really didn't know him. Well, there was that one possibility. No, wait, never mind. I'm not sure. I guess the bone can't really tell us much of anything. Yes, I'm afraid he was no help at all. I suppose that means we're back where we started. But at least we can be sure that this close friend we're after is a resident of St. Mysteria. We mustn't give it up, Luke. Let's continue to ask around. I feel as though we need to head back to, to the manor because we know that they've been given disgusting food. Who gave them the disgusting food? Oh, it was. It was Matthew, wasn't it? Matthew gave him the disgusting food, the sweet food. Ooh, Matthew is dangerous. Ooh, Matthew was my favorite, and now he's dangerous. Let's ask around town. How about no? Can we go back and explore the man, the manor first? Because I feel, I feel as though it's about that time, and I'd rather not get a uh, get attacked by by random puzzles. I'd rather not ruin our our perfect record. Let's see. I think it was Matthew. I think Matthew gave him the food, the butler. I think the butler gave him the nasty food. Hey, hey, tell me. I need you to be careful, big dog. I think you need to be careful. Mr. Layton, you have some skill at solving puzzles, yes? I once cracked a case by solving a puzzle left behind on a note that I found hidden at the crime scene. Let's see how you fare against it. I'm trying to save this life, this man's life. I'm trying to save this life's man. And he'd rather give me a puzzle. The mysterious note is 40 picker outs. Well, we did a 60 today. We on a roll. We did a 60 in one shot. We needed a little hint. But we on a roll. All right. Oh, I already see it. <laughs> I already see this one. And I didn't even get to look at the directions yet. <laughs> I wonder if that if that gave you guys how to solve this one. This is another trick that my mind does all the time. A detective who has mere days from cracking an international smuggling ring has suddenly gone missing. While inspecting his last known location, you find a note. The note appears to be nothing more than a series of numbers, but your gut instinct tells you that this note will reveal the name of the crime kingpin. Currently, there are three suspects in the case, Bill, John, and Todd. Can you break the detective's code and find the criminal's name? I think I've been on the internet too much. Like, that's part of what my mind does and, and why I was able to solve this without even looking at the thing. The answer, as a matter of fact, I'll give you guys, I'll let you guys respond in chat. Uh, who do you think, who do you think is the criminal between Bill, John, and Todd? I'll let you solve this one. Who do you think did this one? Who do you think is the is the crime boss? The the crime kingpin. I'm actually interested in 
Let's see who you think did it. And why? Why do you think this person did it? This was a, this was a, this was what, a 50? 60? How many points was this? My mind worked entirely too quickly on this one. This was 40. Okay. Let's see. Media says John because, <laughs> because it's the most uh, generic name. Little Fire, we're not talking about Matthew. We're not talking about uh, the actual case. We're talking about uh, this this puzzle. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and give it to you guys. This is this is uh this is Bill's work. If you take if you take the uh the the note, if you take a look at this note here, and you, and you when I tilt it my head like this. But I tilted my head like this. That was because, like, my mind knew that those were numbers, but they were also letters. If you take your head and, and flip it like this and look at it, it reads, Bill is boss. He sells oil. Oh, read your, I got a circle. There we go. Bill did it. There we go. Another like, puzzle solved. Like I said, I've been on the internet for too long. So, like, naturally, whenever I see a collection of numbers and there's no letters, my mind tries to make letters and it flips them over. We've killed, we've been killing puzzles today. Bill is boss. He sells oil. There we go. We've been killing these puzzles today. Impressive, Mr. Layton. It seems the rumors touting your skill weren't totally unfounded. But don't give grading any ideas. Do the smart thing and leave the detective work to me. Bruh! Bruh, they are trying to kill you. They are trying to kill you. I don't know why. Oh, because you're a detective. That makes sense. Jaw was pulling the strings, making you believe it was Bill. <laughs> In the meantime, you can occupy yourself by searching for the golden apple. Thanks, bruh. All right. When we get all the painting scraps, if we get all the painting scraps, I want to actually solve that puzzle on screen. Hang on, hang on. I want to leave just yet. There we go. <laughs> Moving on. Um, we're supposed to be asking around town. Let's ask around here, since since this man doesn't want us to save him. I don't remember his voice. Not gonna pretend like I do. Oh, professor, you just have to simply have to help me. I've got another puzzle on my hands. I just can't solve. As a man of the world, you know there's nothing women find more alluring than competence. I'm counting on you, sir. Don't doom me to an eternal bachelorhood. This game. This game and its segues in the puzzle. I wonder if they get any better as, like, the series progresses on. If they stop just saying, hey, Layton, I got some information you might need, but you got to solve this puzzle first. I wonder if, like, if it gets any better than that. I know that um, Layton versus Wright, they do it the exact same way. But that, that could just because... It's um it's the first entry in the series here, and then Layton versus Wright is an introduction to whichever one you're not uh whichever one you're not familiar with. Pinboard shapes. Oh, this is gonna be good. This is gonna be good. Uh this one's worth forty. Here we go. Oh no. Oh no. This one haunted me in the third grade, and now it's haunting me again. Here we go. The cross shape on the pin board below has nine pins inside of it and 16 outside. Remember this. Remember that example, because now it's your turn to construct a shape on the board. Can you create a cross that has 17 pins inside and 16 out? Feel free to make your cross any size you like. I'm not a fan of I'm not a fan of this puzzle. To be honest, I used to be a puzzle master back in middle, in elementary school, and it was literally this exact puzzle that stopped that that made me lose my crown. I I wish I was joking. I wish I was joking. Let's see. It has nine pins inside of it and sixteen outside. We want seventeen inside and sixteen out. Nine inside would be these five across, and then one, two, three, and four. 
how do we create a cross with 17 inside? We'd have to make pins, wouldn't we? We would have to... We would have to... Make pins. For it to have 17 inside, if there's 9 here... Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. We want 17 inside. It's not counting. I don't think it's counting these ones on the edge of the line. Let me let me see. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. This can I do that? It's not across any. Wait a second. Wait a second. Hang on. Give me just a hot one. All right. Give me give me a second. All right, give me a second. I think I can do this one. I want 16 outside. How about if we turn it sideways? Does this count as outside? I don't know if that counts as outside or not. But I think this is the way to do it. No, it doesn't count it. Okay, okay. It doesn't count it. I can see that. Let's do it this way. It's going to be a little bit fatter. I think I got it. I think I finally, you know, in the third grade, I wasn't I wasn't the smartest. I was a very clever, crafty child, but I think I did it. There's four on the outside. There's three in each corner and then one in between each corner. So that's 16 on the outside. One. We want a cross, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I did it. Did I get it? Wow. Wow. <laughs> there we go. I can't believe I did that. Another puzzle solved. We're on a roll. We're on a roll, ladies and gentlemen. We killing it. We're killing it. It's a sense what you figure out it needs to be placed diagonally. Yo. Yo. I'm 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 blown. I'm blown right now. This this is going up by my top ten alt play moments, boy. Oh my god. <laughs> I did it. Thanks, old boy. With this puzzle solved. I know that's not the same voice. I don't care. Uh, with this puzzle solved, I feel I've drawn one step closer to the altar. That's his voice now. He's got a wall clock. Let's give that to Layton. Layton's got all the goods in his room. All right. And then we did, we did Dahlia's puzzle already, right? Let's be out. Let's be out. I'm blown. My mind is blown right oh, Wow. I can't believe. I cannot believe that I did that that smoothly. All right. We're going to ask around town. We're going to systematically ask around town. We're going to ask everybody that we meet. Starting with our boy here. Lady Dolly, she is gorgeous, ain't she? Yep. She is. What a dish. What a doll. What a honey. Gals like that are pretty rare. I tell you. Yep. Yep. All right. I like him. He's he's dope. He's pretty dope. All right. Let's talk to this kid. Still no luck finding the villain? What in the odd world we live in? Well, you know what they say. Truth is stranger than fiction. Speaking of fiction, I just thought of this little gem. Please give me your honest feedback about it. How many sheets? This one's worth uh 40. This worth 40 uh picarats. Oh shit. Oh hell. <laughs> okay. Okay. Ready for my eyes to hurt. Do I have my glasses here? Here we go. I know I'm going to need my glasses on this one. Too many lines in too many places. Here we go. Several rectangular sheets of transparent film are arranged on top of each other as shown. 
The lines represent areas where one sheet overlaps with another. At the thickest point of this pile, how many sheets are overlapping? Okay. So I don't know if you guys are familiar with sheet paper, but it's transparent. It's like if you were to get, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, uh, if you were to get a sheet of paper and try and look through it, you'd be able to see through it. Uh, and typically, if you lay sheets on top of each other, you can tell which ones are overlapping. So that's what's happening here. Now, I said at the thickest point of the pile. Right, am I able to take notes? Yes. Oh, thank God. That makes it so much easier. At the thickest point of the pile, how many sheets are overlapping? So basically, we need to count more or less every square, every little, every single square, and see how many squares it is a part of. This one's not going to be so easy. This is obviously one. This this part here, for this point, the, not this sheet, but for this point of this sheet, it's the only one there. Same goes for here. Same goes for here here and here here as well here as well here as well here that's all the ones that's all the ones so more or less we just need to figure that out brb no no problem take your time this puzzle is going to take a minute this puzzle is going to take a minute i have no if you want to go get some water go to the bathroom go for it i wish i could <laughs> i wish i could here's uh this is a two Sorry, this is uh, this is either a two or a three. I don't think it matters. I don't think it matters to the point where it, it will it will mess me up. Cause this square here, uh, this square here could be a square that counts. So that's two. I'm gonna say that this is the one of these two. Either this one or this one are the thickest points. Maybe or this one. No, actually, this one wouldn't be. This, I'm going to count this as its own square. This is its own square here. I'm sorry, its own sheet of paper, I should say. Unless it's like this. Whatever, it'd be all right. So let's see, this one is one. This square here is part of one, two, three, four, Five. I don't think there's a six anywhere. I don't think there's a six anywhere. This one and this one are parts of the same one. I want to say that's a five. This might be the first one we mess up just because I want to spend forever on this type of puzzle. This one is one, two, three. Four. One, two, three, four, five. Shoot. One, two, three, four. I think that's four. The I want to say five. I want to say five is the biggest this might be the first one we mess up on the day we did pretty good if we went an hour and a half without messing up on a single puzzle only use two hints there we go dang still got it all right another puzzle solved not bad we almost got leet we almost got leet yeah five is that deep one right there perfect the puzzle seems straightforward, but it's quite formidable when you get right down to it. Yeah, it's definitely easier when you use more than one color. It's definitely easier to figure out what overlaps. 